Here's an example of using an ice chart along with weak acids or bases to calculate Ka. So we're kind of going in the opposite direction. Okay, prior we were given an initial concentration looking for pH and use, utilizing the K value from your table. This time we're going to be solving for the Ka. So it could be an unknown acid, in which case we have no idea if the approximation rule works or not. So when we are trying to find, calculate a Ka or a Kb, you must use a nice chart. Okay, because we don't know if the approximation rule will fit. And again, since it doesn't really matter what the acid type is or base, because they always follow the same pattern, just use one, a reaction like that. Okay, use that as your pattern. HA plus water gives you a hydronium and A minus. So, as an example, I want to find the Ka of some unknown acid that has a concentration of 0.15 moles per liter. Okay, so. Again, this given concentration always represents initial concentration of the acid. Whereas the pH always represents the equilibrium concentration. Okay, so I have a pH, but I can't put a pH in my ice chart. That will do you no good. You have to convert it into concentration first. So that's what we've done here turn the pH into hydronium and that value was put in as the equilibrium concentration down here. So now I see that I started with zero as we did before. Now I have my change value, it's always one to one to one, so that makes it kind of simple. My reactants go down, so I have a minus value here. My products go up, so they're positive, and then I can plug in my values, and that's it. Okay, again, if, it's a, if it was a weak base, you'd be using POH to calculate hydroxide concentration.